In this video I'm going to show you how you can automatically highlight the top or bottom values in your data set using a formula. So here I'm able to select whether I want to highlight 10, 15, 20, or really any number that I want. And as you can see in the data, it will automatically highlight those values. This is going to be really useful if you are creating any sort of reports or dashboards or you just want to explore your data a little more closely. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and in order to start this, all that I've done is created a spot on the left hand side here where we can enter in our data. And then um, I'm going to show you how to create a little bit of data and then we will put in our highlight boxes. So first off, what we're going to do is just create some athlete names and I'm going to do this by joining some text as well as a random number. So what this is going to look like in my athlete names column, what I'll do is just type in equals and then quotation athlete and then a space and then quotation and then the and symbol and I'm going to add um, a number to this between one and six. So I'll say rand between open this up, it's going to ask me what the lowest value is, that's going to be a 1, and then the highest value is going to be a 6, and then I'll close that off and hit enter, and what you'll see is I can drag this down, and basically I've just created athlete 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a bunch of their different values. So this is just a quick way if you wanted to create some data, how you could start to do that. Similarly, I could just use the ran between function for the 1RM, so I could hit equals ran between, open this up, and let's say somewhere between 100 and comma 500, and then it's going to ask me to autofill, and now I can autofill that. So now I have a whole um, data set that I can use to play around with. So from here, the only problem with ran between is every time I change a formula, it's going to automatically change all of these numbers around. So what I'm going to do is just highlight this whole data set, hit control C, and then I'm going to right click and paste just the values. So now we don't have any of those formulas in there, it's just the values that the ran number um, or ran between formula created. So that's a quick tip if you want to create some data sets. Now from here, let's create a space where we can start to highlight our values. So all I've done is just um, merge some cells. We'll just bold that and I'm going to center it. And then we'll say the top values and the bottom values. And I'm going to create some boxes here. So right here we'll say a little bit of a green color and then the bottom ones we'll do in a bit of a red color. So from here, I'll bold these, but what I want to do is create the ability to have a drop down menu here that I can select 5, 10, 15, 20, or so on. Um, I could do this where I just type in the value, and that's fine too, but I, I like to have drop down menus and make my sheets interactive so that people that are interacting with them, um, I know that they're always going to work appropriately. So, what I'm going to do is just highlight these two cells, the green and the red one. I'll go to data, and then data validation. And from here, we'll select list of items, and I'm just going to set 5, comma, well, let's say 1, comma, 5, comma, 10, comma, 15, and I'll hit save. And now what we've done is created this drop-down box where we can select basically um, how many we want to highlight. I'll bold that, maybe make it go to the middle, and you can see we want to highlight the top 5 values and then the bottom 10 values. So in order to do this, we're going to use a conditional format as well as a formula. So the formula we'll use for the top values is this formula called large. So what I'll do is I'll say equals large, open this up. It's going to ask me for a couple things. The first thing being the data. So in this case, it's going to give me, uh, or I'm going to put in all of the data, C2 to C40, and then comma, it's going to ask me N. So this n, it's going to ask me if I put in a 1, it'll say that's the first largest value. If I put in a 2, that'll be the second largest value, third, fourth, fifth, etc. So what we can do here is I could make it equal to this, and that would just give me the fifth value. But let's just do the formula, and if I hit 481, or sorry, if I put a 1 in there, it'll give me 481, and that's the first largest value. So now I can use this formula 
um, as a conditional format. And if I had a five in there, that's the fifth largest value. So then I know that um, any of the values here that are um, greater than or equal to this one are the top five. And then any of the values that are less than or equal to it are below that. So what I would want to do is create a formula that says um, highlight all of the values here that are greater than or equal. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of my data and I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting, and it's going to give me this um, pane here on the right hand side. Under formula, let's type in a custom formula. And what we want is equals and dollar sign C2. And what this is saying is um, we're going to be referring to C2, but we're locking in C so that the formula um, goes across the whole way, but we're not locking in 2 so that the formula will drag down. Okay, so dollar sign C2. And then when that is greater than or equal to large, open this up and we want to lock in our range. So it's dollar sign C2, oh sorry, dollar sign C, dollar sign 2, um, double dots, dollar sign C, dollar sign, and then our last range is 40, comma, and then the number of values that we want is in F2, so we're going to type dollar sign F, dollar sign 2, and I'll close that off, and right away you can see our formula start to work, so I'm going to hit done. So you can see now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, if we type in the fifth value, so the fifth value is 436, every value that is greater than or equal to 436 has been highlighted now. If we were to type in 10, now let's make this the 10th, 382, now every value greater than or equal to 382 has been highlighted. Okay, so that's how we do that, and I'll just walk you through that formula one more time. Let's highlight our range. So basically what we're doing is taking um, if C2, meaning this row, this first row, but if it's calculating for the second one, it'll be C3, C4, etc., is greater than or equal to large than our range. So the whole range, C2 to C40, and then we want the F second number um, variable. So in this case, it would be 382. So I'm going to hit done, and we're going to do that rule one more time. So I'll highlight my range. And then this time I'll just go on the other side and hit add another rule. And for the same thing, we're going to go custom formula equals. We're going to do the same thing, dollar sign C2. But this time we want less than or equal to. And the same way we use large, now we're going to use small. So small, open this up. The range is dollar sign C, dollar sign 2 to dollar sign C dollar sign 40, comma, and then the number that we want highlighted is stored in F3, so we'll hit dollar sign, F, dollar sign 3, close this off, and in this case, we want the color to be a light red. So now you can see we're highlighting the 10 sort of lowest values, because now we're less than or equal to, rather than greater than or equal to. I'll hit done, close this off, and if you can see, we can now change this, so that we can highlight the highest value and then the bottom five or the bottom one or maybe the bottom 15 or how, whatever we want to highlight. So I hope that this trick helps you out. Um, it's a good way to just explore your data sets and easily pull out the top and bottom values from your data sets. Um, and this can be really helpful if you're communicating this information to coaches or athletes or anyone else that you might be working with. So if this video did help you out, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you could share it on social media, that would really help me out. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.